Hey everybody, Craig here from CLP Bushcraft. I wanted to come make a video today to go over the items in my Bushcraft cook kit that I put together in my uh, Hidden Woodsman 2019 Haversack. And behind me you can see my little table that I built and right now I've got a pot of coffee fixing to be uh, brewing and I'm gonna sit back, drink my coffee and then I'll go over what I'll keep in my Hidden Woodsman for sack cook kit. See you in a minute. Hey everybody, I'm back. Okay, so I want to show you everything that I keep in the cook kit, uh, but first I want to show you the items that I don't keep in my half sack cook kit. I keep these items here in my day rug, which is behind me on the shelter. It's my Hidden Woodsman 2.0 pack. Um, these items I keep with me all the time. Uh, one, to just be able to have water uh, for the, with the canteen and then to be able to cook coffee when I come over here. So I keep my little um, alcohol stove, it's just a little Esbit alcohol stove uh, in my uh, day ruck, and my Firebox Nano. Um, this is the uh, X case, I think they call it. And then it's the, uh, the Firebox Nano, it's the titanium uh, stove with the windscreen and all. And it works really well, this is my favorite uh, twig stove that I've, that I've had and then of course my heavy cover canteen I don't go anywhere without this and of course the uh, the nesting cup and lead which right now has got coffee in it so let me put this stuff away and I'll show you the haversack and what I keep in it so this is the haversack the 2019 edition haversack Malcolm's designed and the main difference with his this haversack versus his other haversacks it's got the single buckle on it, whereas his other ones had two. And I've got some of the older ones, and after toting this one, I prefer the single buckle a lot better. Once it's strapped around your shoulder, it's just easier to uh, to get to items and then fasten it back. So let me show what's in here. <clears throat> now, like all Malcolm's bags, he has a bright liner inside where you can see good when it's low light uh, coming out of conditions. So first off is my heavy cover titanium frying pan. Love this frying pan. I've cooked uh, in it many times. I've cooked breakfast sausage, eggs, uh, bacon, a fried fish in it. And it's a heavy duty titanium, but it's still lightweight. And like all titanium, um, the secret to it is, is cook on low heat with some sort of uh, butter or oil or some kind of a non-stick uh, substance and uh, cook on low heat and stuff won't stick to it and it works really really well uh, next up is my heavy cover titanium uh, fork and spoon the spork and like I said it's titanium real lightweight out of all the sporks that I've had this is my favorite and if you're interested in getting any of the titanium heavy cover stuff like the spork, the frying pan, or the canteen, um, message me and uh, I'll give you a direct link to the or a direct link to them. I am an affiliate with them, so it'll help me out if uh, if you're wanting to to purchase any of this stuff. Just let me know and I'll give you a link. So next up, I got a just a bottle of Vargo alcohol fuel bottle. I keep alcohol in from my alcohol stove. Um, this is just a little container that I keep cooking oil in. This is a Pyrenees water purifying drops. I haven't used this yet. I got this off of uh, Chuck uh, Rathall's 10,000 follower giveaway on Instagram. I won that and I got this and hadn't tried it out yet, but going to. Then I got my Hidden Woodsman meat fork and just a neat little lightweight wooden handled meat fork. And Malcolm has designed these sheaths for it and really neat little, little sheath for it. And it works really well for flipping steaks and, and that kind of stuff. Then this is a uh, Hidden Woodsman fire pouch. I got one of Malcolm's uh, 
Velcro patches on there. Uh, Malcolm gave me this pouch uh, when I ordered the uh, the haversack. Um, this is the same same color, and uh, got it for me to match. But I keep in it just uh, smaller items. You know, I don't want just rolling around in in the sack or in the haversack. First off is uh, just a little wax canvas pouch that I got that I keep coffee in. Then a little GSI uh, coffee filter. Works really well. You can hook this on your Kuxa, pour your uh, ground uh, coffee in the in the uh, filter and then pour hot water on top of it and let it drip down into the Kuxa. It works really well. This little spice kit that I put together and in it just little glass vials and with little corks tops and I've got salt and pepper uh, steak seasoning and garlic powder in it and then just a regular old big lighter just mainly for lighting alcohol stove then this is just a uh, hard plastic flexible plastic uh, cutting board that I got that way when you cut your steak up or cut up potatoes or whatever you want to do this works really well for it and it don't weigh much of nothing. Then lastly, I've got uh, my Expedition Research Grill. This is the two, two pack grill. It's got the larger grill, works really, really good for, for steaks. Uh, and then the little small grill, you see I hadn't even used it yet. But uh, one good thing about the grill paired up with the titanium sport, the heavy cover titanium sport, is the fork part goes perfect inside the grill grates like so and you can pick it up out of the fire and move it and it's really sturdy and works really well for that so that's pretty much it guys um i know I, there's no food in it i don't keep food in it if i'm coming over here to camp or to cook then i will bring food there's plenty of room left in it to uh to add food to it whether it be steak or whatever I'm cooking, uh, I can throw off in the haversack. And I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't want to weigh it down with a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, that's kind of really all I need. I mean, I ain't bringing, you know, everything in the kitchen sink over here. So, but uh, it's real lightweight and it paired up with my Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck. It's a perfect combination together. So, and if you're wanting any of the Hidden Woodsman gear, check out Malcolm's website. It's the Hidden Woodsman. Um, he makes the best bushcraft gear, in my opinion. Um, once I started using his gear, then I, I ain't going back to nothing else. Uh, it's all handmade right here in the USA and um, by Malcolm and works really well. So uh, if you like what you see on my channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll be trying to get more videos out as soon as I can. And if you like... Uh, like kind of the content that I've got going here check me out on Instagram if you do Instagram that's pretty much my main uh, social media platform right now I do a lot of stuff on Instagram uh, check me out there and uh, give me a follow I'd really appreciate it so anyway guys I'll make a video soon I appreciate you watching till the next one